All right, everybody. Well, we're out in the garden right now, and it's me, Ocean, and and, and the little guy. Two Come on, buddy, can you see? Oh, that's not too close. I found two lemons. You found two lemons. Big ones. Two lemon cucumbers. <laughs> Bless you. This is our big one. Corn? No, it's sunflowers. Sunflowers? Yeah. yeah. Um. So I found. Okay. So, anyways, uh, this video is going to be about the melons that we got grown. I planted a bunch of uh, cantaloupe and different types of musk melon, and uh, we've got a couple of them right down here. And I had a couple more, but these guys, they're so touchy, they're so sensitive that, I mean, I could come out here tomorrow, and this thing would look like a, a, a deflated balloon. You know, you never really know. And I've gotten one of them that was ripe already. And uh, the way I could tell was it actually started to turn like an orangish color. And I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get in here and show you this other melon that's right here. And uh, that one doesn't even have the netting. It doesn't have the, the crinkly looking skin like this one does. I found a, our big one. You found another big one? Oh, you look talking about the butternut squash? No, that's bay yummy. Yeah? That's a yummy. But we got a whole bunch more growing over here that uh, that I want to go check out and see. And uh, look at that gross looking thing. Look at that gross looking thing. That's the the flower for the butternut squash, bud. No, that's a lemon. That's not lemon. That's butternut squash. Can I plant the, the, uh, this? No, we gotta wait till that one gets bigger. It's gotta get really big and then like white color, like a tan color. I found I got I got the corn. All right, all right. Well, we're gonna walk over to the other end of the garden and show you the other cantaloupe. All right, guys. Well, and and this is kind of what I mean here. I uh, was just looking at this pump this uh, melon just the other day, and uh, I'm looking at it now. And that's what, <laughs> it looks like a deflated balloon. So, I'm kind of bummed out. I know I have some other melons over here, but I don't know if something got a hold of them. If something, if something ate them, or I don't know. Oh, there's one. There's one right down there. Okay, oh, and I see another one right here. I don't know if this one's too ripe or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. There we go. Huh, that's weird looking. Looks like a miniature giant pumpkin laying on the side. But yeah, that's soft. That's pretty soft. Let me smell it. I love you too, buddy. All right. So let's uh let's pick that one. And uh let's see if maybe we should I don't know if we should grab that one or not. I don't know. It's such a such a touchy thing. If you guys can see this other melon right here. I'm thinking about maybe just grabbing it and letting it mature on the counter. Because I'm sure I'll come out here tomorrow or something and it'll be all flat like that other one. Alright, let's get that one. Okay. Check that out. What do you think, little man? I can actually smell it. It's actually got a melon smell to it right now. So, so yeah, so I got two of them. I got this one. I got that little half flat one. It looks kind of funny. And uh, I'm just going to take this inside and maybe let it ripen up a little bit more inside on the counter or on, something like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to give you a little update on the cantaloupe uh, that we got growing, the musk melon. And uh, y'all have a good one.